So as you may already know, Google has released the first developer preview for Android O. Now last year Google started the Android beta program that allowed you to test out these developer previews simply by logging into a website and enrolling your specific device into the program. Since this first developer preview for Android O is very early in its early stages, Google has decided to stay away from that and instead is requiring you to actually manually flash this onto your device. So if you own the Nexus 5X, the Nexus 6P, the Nexus Player, the Pixel C, Pixel or Pixel XL, then you can download these factory images from Google and install them onto your device manually. This is what I'll be showing you how to do today with my Pixel XL, but it'll be the same for most of these devices. A bit of a warning, manually installing Android O on your device will wipe all of the data you have on it, so be aware of that. And to start, you're going to have to do things like install Google's USB drivers, install ADB and Fastboot tools, and download the factory images directly from Google. These links and how to do that all will be included in the full tutorial, which will be linked in the description below this video for anybody that needs to do that. So we're going to start by booting into fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode. You can see we are connected to the PC with a USB cable. And we have started the ADB service on the computer to make sure that it recognizes the phone that we have attached to it. As you can see, I have downloaded the factory images for my specific device onto my computer. And I have then extracted those files into a folder. There's actually a folder inside that file. And then in there, you have all of your other files. Now you're going to want to have these files in the same directory as your ADB and Fastboot tools. And if you've ever manually flashed factory images from Google before, the process is the same. So all we do need to do is open up a command prompt, navigate to that same directory that we have those ADB and Fastboot tools located in, as well as the factory images. We just need to type out the flash all.bat command and then press enter on the keyboard. That flash all.bat file is a batch script that's going to go through and not only send all of the images to your device but it's also going to install and copy those images to the partition that needs to be installed on. You can see I did get a failed message up here but that doesn't seem to be stopping the install process right now. Again, this is very early stages. So we are expecting some of these bugs to be present in Android O.
and once we get there we're just going to press any key to exit and that's going to reboot our device. Once our device reboots we can unplug the USB cable from the PC and we're just going to wait for wait through this first boot cycle since we did just do a basically a factory reset on our device and we installed a brand new operating system this first boot cycle will take longer than normal Android's having to build its cache and set some things up So you're just going to wait through this and then it will take us through the activation, the Android activation screen. I will be covering different new features of Android O in future videos. Since this one's already getting pretty long, I just wanted to have this one focus on just installing Android O. So even though we haven't really enrolled into the Android beta program, we're still getting this prompt. We're just going to skip through all of this. Just so you can see the home screen. And so you can see that we are on Android O. So like I said, this install process will be the same for the supported devices. I've never actually manually installed a version of Android on the Nexus Player. So I'm not completely familiar with that, but for any of the phones or supported tablets like the Pixel C, this process will be exactly the same. You will just need to make sure to download the specific factory images that Google has provided for your device. So that is how to manually install Android O on your device.